friends this is Ravi Kiran from Ravi Kiran Tech Logs and uh, today topic is uh, what is the difference between uh, client OS and server OS so what is the difference and what features is uh, enabled on both the client OS and server OS so let's start and uh, the only common difference is uh, client OS, OS having only the operating system and all the features are same if you go to the uh, start control panel everything will be same in server OS and client OS and uh, difference between client difference between client OS and server OS you will have only one uh, one feature is enabled like you can add uh, roles on the server OS uh, on client OS you can do you cannot do anything okay let's show you if I click in server manage can install we can install uh, multiple roles it's like uh, we can configure it as a DC DNS server DSCP server a remote access server and IS like that so many uh, futures and roles are enabled in the server OS. so it is in built-in to the uh, coming to the client OS you cannot find any roles and futures simply it will have only one it's working as a uh, client OS you can connect any of the server MSTAC or RDP anything but if you go to start uh, all programs everything will be same in client OS and server OS and uh, if you compare with uh, server OS you will have administrator tools will be there uh, services and system configuration system information and task scheduler firewall and PowerShell and the notepad calculator paint and uh, remote uh, desktop connection and uh, another one administrative tools will be the only additional in server OS uh, in going to this client OS you cannot find administrative tools okay and if you click back if you go to local server manager you can find uh, all the details in one server manager like what is the configuration how the co firewall is configured everything will be visible in this so co going to the client OS you cannot find any information and if you uh, install any roles it will be visible on the dashboard so you can verify so by default file and storage services are enabled on this so you can see here and uh, all the servers you can verify if any uh, multiple servers are added to the same uh, form it will display here uh, I go to dashboard and uh, how to uh, you can see here co configure this uh, local server this is a client uh, normal server it is not installed any of the role if you want to uh, add any roles or futures you can click here second option and uh, you want to add another uh, another servers to this manage from this server you can add here and you can create a server group so you can create group and you can add all the servers in one group and you can maintain okay uh, let's go to uh, add roles and futures uh, will verify on Windows 12 like what features are enabled and what roles are enabled click next and here installation type uh, you can see role based and our feature uh, based installation so I am going to select this one click next and uh, server is default so it selected one if you add multiple servers you can see here click next and uh, server roles so roles uh, in op uh, server OS uh, Microsoft is added uh, multiple roles you can see here <coughs> Active Directory uh, certificate uh, service and uh, Active Directory domain services, Active Directory federation services, and Active Directory lightweight director services and Active Directory rights management services. These are all related to Active Directory uh, services roles. And if you go to application server, it is application server uh, IAS installation and uh, DSCP server it's a domain host control uh, host control protocol and uh, DNS it's a domain naming server so it's a domain naming resolution and you can see the fax server so fax server like uh, sending and receiving faxes uh, from server and if you go to file and storage services you can see like uh, um, storage services like you can add uh, uh, file server roles here 
and the Hyper-V, you can Hyper-V, Hyper-V, Hyper-V provides the services that uh, to create and manage virtual machines on their resources. Each virtual machine is a virtualized computer system that operates on uh, in your uh, individual operating system like uh, 2012 uh, Hyper-V is installed. So in that uh, you can create multiple virtual machines uh, with the help of Hyper-V application or role and network policy and access service. Network policy and access service is uh, network policy server. Uh, this uh, service is used to authenticate uh, VPN and authorization. <coughs> Sorry. And print and document uh, services. So this is the main uh, for print services and SharePoint services is enabled on this role. And if you go to remote access, remote access provides a seamless connectivity through active, uh, direct access VPN. And this is also VPN related. And uh, if you go to uh, uh, remote access means it's a RAS server. Uh, like uh, previously the old version, um, uh, you can have a multiple uh, uh, so, uh, websites can be published and uh, uh, provide uh, access to site to site and uh, another one are remote desktop services uh, this services enable uh, access virtual desktop sessions uh, based on desktops and you can publish uh, remote apps in your uh, remote desktop services and the volume uh, activation service uh, this is uh, like KMS like uh, key management service you can have a uh, license information can be stored here and this server will be uh, allow the license to the all the client machines and servers so this is one you can maintain in one server in the one net uh, network to assign all the uh, product keys to the all the machines and another one web server is a uh, web server is is a uh, IA server uh, for application infrastructure and uh, another one is a uh, windows deployment service so windows deployment service so windows deployment service provides a simplified and secure uh, remotely deploy windows operating system to computers over the network in the uh, office network and uh, server so essential uh, experience uh, this is one uh, tool uh, taking a backups pc backups and uh, protect data from uh, remote uh, machines so you can have this feature in 2012 and another one is Windows Server Update Services. Uh, this service is uh, to update uh, computers, uh, servers, clients, everything uh, like uh, whichever latest patches released by Microsoft uh, every second Tuesday. Those patches can be downloaded and uh, pushed to the local uh, and uh, remote servers. These are the roles are enabled. These are the roles are enabled. These are the roles are enabled in the 2012. Uh, if you like this uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, do not miss uh, clicking the bell icon so that uh, if I upload new videos you can get alert uh, thanks for watching and uh, my next video is going to be uh, Active Directory services installation so let's meet on next video thank you